Peace and love, peace and love, peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. Hey, soul family. Hey, soul tribe. Come on in here. Come on in here. Come on in here. How y'all doing? It's your girl, Tracy Shay, coming to you from Black Bird Fly with Transparent Tuesdays. So, thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. We'll make sure you take what resonates, okay? And go back to God and get some confirmation. All right. I want to thank God, source, and the universe for using me as a vessel, using me as an instrument to bring forth this reading to you all. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, I ask that you come into this room, come into this place, come into myself. I ask that it be none of me and all of you. I ask that you give me the accuracy, the accuracy to deliver a message for the collective. I call in my ancestors and my spirit guides for love and light and healing energy. Amen. I say. So we're going to go ahead and open our third eye. And see what we have for today. We're going to go ahead and get started with some angel prayers from the cafe. Angel prayer oil for that. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, what do you have for us today? Which one of the archangels are surrounding and protecting us at this time? What do we have to be thankful for? Anything else? Thank you, Regal, for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. Thank you, Jeremiah, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. Thank you, Razael, for helping me channel my gifts and talents. Thank you, Hania, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. Thank you, Gabrielle, for helping me to speak with integrity. Thank you, angels, today I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. Thank you, Azrael, for leading me safely through this change. Thank you, angels, for guiding me through love, oh, through my inner voice. <laughs> Thank you, angels, for helping me reconnect through nature and fresh air. Divine Father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy decisions. Thank you, loved ones in heaven, for drawing close to me at this time. Go ahead and get to the tarot and see what's going on. I do read everything upright. So let's see, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. What do you have to collect today? Let us know. Make it clear. Make it make it clear. Thank 
clear how this clear how it goes. What is this? Okay. What is crowning? I mean, rooting this. What is rooting this? How is it? definitely um, communication coming uh, emotional balance coming a feeling of returning home uh, returning back to love um, union some type of relationship healing okay Let's just go ahead and get into it. Crowning the spread is the Ace of Swords. Um, caution must be taken in all decisions that will be made. As it is possible that others could suffer as a result of your good fortune. And then... Rooting it is the... King of Batons, a promise of opportunities to come. The Ace of Baton is. I'm reading the Ace, I'm supposed to be reading the King. A favorable card. The King can represent a favorable marriage or partnership, as well as protection, honesty, power, and a desire to plan for the future. Good things are coming. Um, some people, you know, might not be genuine about how they feel about you being successful and you having this new beginning and this uh, balance and this love or partnership coming. But you have to do what's best for you. So just make sure you are thinking wisely on your actions that you're taking. Make sure you are putting yourself first, okay? So you have a 10 of batons, which is carrying responsibility or weight on your shoulders or exerting a great effort, okay? And then nine of swords, concern, guilt, or despair, these may manifest in obsessing over regrets, feeling depressed, or insomnia. Okay. So, it seems like you, you were really concerned and worried about other people. How they're going to perceive you um, in your actions. And it's really might be making you feel guilty because you might have to leave a situation for another situation. You might have to let go of some things, people, and places to get to where you're trying to go for this partnership. Um, so you might hurt some feelings along the way and that might be causing you maybe to not be as um, excited about the new beginning as you should be. But just understand, as long as you're doing what's best for you, the people who are meant to be there in your life, 
they're gonna understand they're gonna get it they're gonna celebrate it and even if they don't they're still gonna be there to support you okay those are the genuine people everybody else let them fall away okay so then you have the five of coins feeling unwell tired or excluded this may be from self-induced or external factors such as losing a job or lacking material possessions that you need. And then you have the uh, Seven of Swords. Suggesting a feeling of needing independence or running away. Maybe as a result of deception or procrastination. Stop procrastinating on what it is you're trying to do, okay? Stop it. You know what it is. You know what it is. You know what it is, okay? Don't procrastinate. Don't allow somebody else to determine your happiness. Do what is best for you in all areas of your life, okay? If you ain't happy in this situation, then you're not being authentic to yourself, to your soul, to your desires, to your wants, to your needs. And you can't fully enjoy life until you embrace your authentic self until you align with your soul purpose your soul mission and that is your truth when you align with your truth nothing else matters okay so stop feeling like what you're doing moving forward doing what's best for you is a bad thing it is not a bad thing okay so then you have a ten of coins The primary representation of this card is a residence or a place considered home. Related also to the journey for permanence in established traditions. Okay. Go back to your home. <laughs> Go back to what your soul's traditions are, what your soul loves, what your soul wants. What your soul needs from you, okay? That is where your happiness is. You know, the saying, there is no place like home. Home is where the heart is. If these other situations is not where your heart is, then why are you entertaining it? Why are you wasting your time? Time is precious. Time is valuable. We don't have all the time in the world, okay? Time is limited, all right? Time is also so valuable okay so precious that you need to spend it wisely with the things and people and places that you're involved with if it is not making you happy let it go let it go let it go queen of cups Entirely motivated by love, perhaps to their de detriment, or a seeker of the myst mysteries and of anything unknown, occasionally linked to jealousy. Entirely motivated by love, perhaps to their detriment. Exactly. You know, sometimes we as humans care about everybody else's needs and we put them before our own because that's in your nature that's how you were um maybe that may be linked to your childhood a feeling of unworthiness um wanting to please everybody make everybody else happy before yourself but you gotta let that go because it's a new time it's a new season it's a new beginning for you okay so you have to make the conscious awareness and decision you got to have the conscious awareness in the and make the decision to follow your heart 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 honor your feelings take that leap of faith if you want this peace and harmony okay forgive yourself if you need to for maybe you know displeasing somebody else however as long as you are doing what you need to be doing for you if it's validating your spirit trust your inner voice and trust your vibes all 
Alright, now we're gonna get some light language from our soul. See what the soul is trying to get across to us at this time. What do you have for us, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost? Anything else? Anything else? And last time, one card, please. Anything else? All right. Wellness, soul tree, remembrance, and visualize. And wellness, you got to do what's best for you. You got to do what's best for you, okay? What well, resonates with your soul. Remember the power that you have, okay, to manifest and create a life that you love, okay? And visualize it. What is it that you really want? What is it that you really need? Okay. What is it that's going to make you happy? Not your neighbor, not your mother, not your brother, not your father, not your cousin, not your best friend. All right. You. So I'll go ahead and read this. So you have wellness. into your body you are answering a time when your body will become stronger if you have been or are sick you are on the way to feeling better begin to focus on a sense of well-being you are healthy if you are healthy you will be inspired to strengthen your body through yoga or, or another form of exercise your body is enlightened and knows how to heal itself Every feeling, be it pain, butterflies, excitement, or love, is a message from one part of the self to another. Tune into your body through meditation and ask what you can do to improve your well-being. Behind the human in the image is the flower of life, which represents the process of creation. It is made up of overlapping circles that are a repeating expression of the first circle. It is a geometric metaphor reminding us that the nature of life is a continual expansion. Your body takes you everywhere you go. So acknowledge, thank it, and love it. And, and again, you know it's your body. Tuning into your body. Getting out in that nature, okay? Listening to music. Getting the exercise. Then you have the soul tree. You are becoming more connected to nature. <laughs> Trees are great holders of wisdom and, and knowledge. Next time you are near a tree, try asking it what it would like you to know and listen with an open heart for an inspired response. The same life force that animates you also flows through trees. We are all in this together. Now imagine that trees are physical manifestations of angels. Their divine essence flows deep into the trees as angels are far-reaching in their ability to help, care, and create. Trees, like angels, see and feel without judgment, always emitting an internal stream of love. Allow angelic tree energy to flow through you, sending roots deep into the ground, forming a solid foundation that enables you to reach higher and deeper into the light of your soul. From this vantage point, you can sculpt your ideas and dreams to be planted upon the earth for you to enjoy through physical senses. Then you have remembrance. Nineteen fifty-nine. Look up that angel number. Yeah. 
you are ready to live your life from the wisdom of your heart. You may have me seen 1111 as, as a reflection of this. If not, you can expect to be receiving this sign soon. You may see it on a clock, a phone number, a receipt, or in a dream. With this wisdom, fresh in, fresh ideas will flow into your mind as new ways to live your life. No one else has to change their ways, only you. Live from your heart, be an inspiration, and discover a new world. Some call 1111 an awakening code. You must have awoken on some level to receive it. It is, it is a sign that you are much more than you think you are. 1111 has different explanations because we are all asking different questions. There is no right or wrong meaning, but at the least of 1111 is a loving, intelligent energy that will always encourage you towards your soul where you will remember the truth of you, okay? Remembering your truth and doing what makes you happy, okay? And then you have visualize. If you can dream it, you can create it. Your imagination is a magical superpower that develops the content, look, and feel of your life. You can use your inner vision to maintain or transform anything in your life. Visualization helps us to create a dream life without the perceived boundaries of the manifested world. To take your dreams out into the world, we call your vision of them as you meditate. Let the dream become a feel that leads to a knowing that is so deeply ingrained it will become an automatic response. Through repetition, this response gains momentum towards a tipping point between vision and manifestation. Now that you are privy to this universal law, relax and enjoy the journey towards your desires. When a desire manifests in your physical life, a new desire will be born in your imagination and a fresh path will unfold. It's your time to go back home. You already know what it is that your soul longs for. You know what home is for you. You know what you love, okay? Don't allow somebody else to keep you from doing what you need to do, okay? It's as simple as that. Your soul is urging you to move forward, move on, and create this life that you love. Then you have five of cups. Represents uh, represents loss, regret, or denial in varying degree. It could be tangible, the breakup of a relationship, or intangible, loss of opportunity. This card can also warn you of forthcoming loss and help to reduce its toll. All that loss that you think you going that's gonna happen because of you doing what's best for you. That's okay, okay? It's okay to lose things, people, in places that don't benefit you anymore. You need to let them go. You need to re remove them from your um, energetic field. They're not used to you anymore, okay? If they can't agree with where you're going, with your evolution, then they're not meant to go with you on, on your path, that journey. So let them go. Let them go. It's your time to do what makes you happy. Not nobody else but you, okay?